So I'm very excited to be announcing our brand new Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 templates for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. And of course, this pack comes with our After Effects extension, and this extension is for After Effects and Premiere Pro, so you can quickly preview templates and apply it to any project you're working on, whether using After Effects or Premiere. So in this video, I want to go through the different categories of templates that we have that can help you save time and produce awesome work, no matter what project you're working on, whether you're working on a client project or a personal project. And if you want to give our After Effects extension a free try, we have a freebie pack of 42 templates. I will link that in the description of this video. You can download it for absolutely free. Uh, and if you want to take a look at any of the templates in this 750 Motion Graphics Advanced Pack at any time during this video, that link will be below. You can take a look at all the templates on our website. So I'm really excited to jump in this video and show you how you can save time with all the category of templates in our new Motion Graphics Advanced Pack. All right, so we're gonna start off with After Effects and then we'll take a quick look into Premiere Pro. But this is our extension. We have a full extension window that allow you to quickly preview assets before you apply them like we do in all of our other pack. But we have all of our different categories here from typography to really cool slideshows, transitions, titles, lower thirds, you know, animated icons for explainer videos. This time around we have 3D mockups. So if you're looking to put together like a mobile app video, we have phones, even uh, software boxes just for fun. Uh, logo reveals, animated backgrounds with uh, some gradients, and infographics. So we have all brand new elements in different categories in this pack, unlike our other packs. Uh, so let's take a quick look on how this works. So we have a video clip here, and I just want to put together a quick, you know, title and maybe add some social media elements to this. So I can come here, let's take a look at the big titles. I love these. And when I find a title I want, I click on apply. And now we have the title animation template in here that we can quickly change out. But this time around, we have some interesting controls that allow you to easily control the animation. So we have some markers with our title templates and we can bring in the in marker here to speed up the initial in animation. And we can, you know, control the out animation as well and close up the layer here. So if, say we only wanted this to be a three second or three and a half second animation, we now can control that. And here's the preview of this animation being so much quicker. Now, of course, we wanna change our text. So you go into that composition and we have our easy text layers right here. So what you do is you grab the title that you want to change and we can quickly change out our titles as we see fit. And update in our composition, we have our new title automatically updated. Now, we have some other elements I like to apply to this. So we take a look at some shape elements here. So, you know, our packs usually come with some sort of axe and motion graphics, uh, but we also have social media templates in here uh, that you can easily add so for example we want to maybe add like a subscribe icon or follow us or something i can find something of the source and click on apply and i'm gonna go ahead and just scale this element into place by hitting s on my keyboard and i can just put this where i want this to be and of course since this is a template you're welcome to go into that composition and we have a control layer and all of our you know templates which will allow you to easily change colors and affect the parameters that are related to that template. So welcome to do that. I want to go ahead and add some shape axe and graphics here. So we have some line animations to help, you know, make this pop a little bit more. So we click on apply. And just by adding this quick shape element, it has just a nice level of detail to our project that we quickly put together. And you know what we could do, we can change the color of course, but we can come here and duplicate the element. And maybe what I'll do is so use this as like just another overlay, scale this down, and I'll just put it right over our subscribe icon. And we go into that comp and like I said, you can easily change the color to whatever you want um, and everything will update back in the main composition. So, you know, these are just a few examples on what you could use from our kit of 750 elements. I want to take a look at some of the, uh, you know, bigger assets here. So we'll go take a look at those. So we have some full screen typography templates here, which are all basically designed from the background to additional graphics and the text. But slideshows here is very similar too, but you get to add your own video or photos. So we can come here and apply this template here. We have to bring in our video and change our title. So we'll go into that composition and we have a layer called delete this layer. You don't have to delete it, but we can bring in our video right above it. And now we can change out our titles and our control layer. We have the settings necessary to adjust the template. So we can bring down the blur level if we want to, uh, or the opacity is completely up to you. And you can turn off certain elements. So if you don't want that there, you can turn that off, but completely up to you what you want to do. So now with our video imported, you can obviously change out your titles, do whatever you need to say, but that is how these templates work. I want to take a look at one more template category in here, which is the infographics. We don't have any infographic templates on our website. So this is our very first one. Um, and this stuff is really awesome and easy to work with. So we'll come here and I'll just apply, you know, a quick template to our comp. 
And you know, we'll have say this animation template here and it's really easy to add data to this if you're displaying some sort of information. So we'll go in that comp. We have all the text layers here if you wanna change out, you know, the X and Y variables, but we'll come here to the control layer and we have all the values here. So you can change the max value of the graph to maybe 300, you know, or whatever needs to be. And it'll update the chart. You'll need to come here and, you know, just adjust the uh, Y axis of data, but it's tailored to what you need it to do. And then you can start inserting different points of data. So this has just been put together to help you just plug in data and get it done really quick. Uh, but we have so many other assets that I'm not gonna go through in this video because you know, we have some logo reveals, just plug in your logo and you have a logo animation, animated backgrounds. You can apply this to underneath titles. If you are looking to put together your own full screen graphics, very fun to work with. You know, we have very basic gradients and some really cool ones down here and 10 different categories of, you know, icon animations. So like, you know, you're putting together some sort of explainer video, you'll have these animations ready to go uh, for your work. Um, and we didn't take a look at any of the transitions in this pack. So we have some shape transitions. Uh, and it's very simple like overlay transition. So if you want to put together two clips, you have those transitions to work with. So now I want to jump over to Premiere Pro and show you how this pack works in any Premiere project. All right, so here's our extension in Premiere Pro. I just have it docked here in the corner. Uh, but one thing to note that there's actually two categories that are not included in the Premiere version of this pack, which is the logo reveals and the slideshows because these are After Effects templates imported into Premiere Pro as essential graphics. And there's limitations to that because you can't import uh, images into these templates when you're working with them in Premiere Pro. So all the templates in here don't have any images attached to them. So you can just, you know, adjust text and colors and other parameters that fit that template. So it's just the logo reveals uh, and the slideshows that are not in the Premiere version. Say you're putting together a video and you need a full screen graphic. Uh, for your video and you know we come here and we can just quickly apply a template so you just double click it and it'll import this into your Premiere Pro project. So these templates are 4k so this would import perfectly into a 4k project but since I'm using 1080 I'll just come here and click on set to frame size and that will scale this down. So now we have this template into our Premiere project. There's two ways that you can edit a template in Premiere. Uh, one way you can do is you can use the customizer here in Premiere. Uh, so you click on the template and you click on customizer and you have options here to change colors or edit text like this. Now, personally, I actually still like to use the essential graphics tab. So we'll come here to graphics. We'll, with our template selected, we can come here to edit and we have all the parameters here to easily change out our template. I prefer using this, that's just my preference, uh, but we can come here and change out our text and you can easily change the fonts and the sizing and all that. Um, and we have some extra titles down here. That's up to you if you want to keep them. And obviously you can easily change your colors to whatever you want that to be. And also as a quick note that if you can import this for like say different resolutions, so I can control the resolution right here. Uh, obviously if you're doing like vertical video, you can just quickly do that. Of course you can import this into say a 1080 by 1920 comp and it'll take that size, uh, but to give you the option in here. And of course everything will update in your main uh, you know, timeline here in Premiere Pro. So you have some really cool templates to work with in Premiere Pro, mostly titles. You have those infographics, you have transitions, you know, social media icons, the accent graphics, you know, the 200 animated icons. So you can put together some, you know, call out uh, in your edit. And of course, animated backgrounds if you want to put together your own full screen graphics. So that's our demo on our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 templates in it. And I'm just very excited about all the packs that we've been able to release uh, recently. You know, this is the third major pack that we have. So we have the Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has 1400 templates just for After Effects. The Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which is just for After Effects. But this is our first large pack for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So, so if you want to take a look at all the templates in this pack, remember that link will be below if you want to check it out on our website. Um, and you may download our freebie pack extension, the link in the description as well so you can see how the extension works and see if this is something you want to use long term. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram where we're posting additional one-minute tutorials on there every single week and always be creating.